And then I came across a particular stat line that absolutely blew my mind uh, that I want to share with you guys to just illustrate just how well the Clippers have been playing. Do you guys know that the Los Angeles Clippers, as we currently speak, have the best record in the NBA since December 1st? Do you know that the Clippers have a 21-4 and record since December 1st? Do you realize how crazy that is? If they were to keep this up, and let's say they lost, I don't know, two more games this month. That means that over the past two months, the Clippers will be averaging three losses per month. Per month. That sample size shows me that this team right here is for real. They are absolutely for to go 21 and 4 since December 1st. Right now, as we're producing the show, it is January, excuse me, January 27th. I think they only have one more game this month. So that means that the Clippers could possibly go 22 and 4 or 20, what, well, yeah, 21 and 5 in two months. That's incredible. But it doesn't stop there. I then decided I wanted to look at the individual stats. No, no, no. I wanted to look at the team stats, excuse me, over that period. Let's look at the team stats for this team since December 1st. The Clippers, since December 1st, are averaging, get this, 122 points per game. 122. If I go to NBA.com and I look at teams that are scoring the most points this season, uh, right now it is showing... The Clippers at the number nine spot at 118, uh, and Indiana Pacers at 125, but it's not really indicative of what's been happening over the last month. But they're one of the top scoring teams uh, in the NBA, so we have that stat line. What else have the Clippers been doing over that period? In that period, in the 25-game span, the Clippers, get this, are assisting the ball 27.1 times per game. 27.1, that means that the ball is moving around. Uh, during that period, they're shooting as a team 51.6% from the field. As a team, they're shooting from three, 42.1%. Per th think about this. A basketball team is shooting 42% from the field. Not a player or two players or three players. The entire basketball team is shooting 42% from the field. And they're making 84% of their free throws. And then I said, okay, let me look at some of the individual stats. Let's look at, let's look at Kawhi Leonard. What has he been doing over this period? In the, in, uh, in, in the last, what, 25 games, Kawhi Leonard is averaging 25 points per game on 56.4% shooting from the field. Get this. On 49.5% on shooting from three. While shooting 92% from the field. Kawhi Leonard is basically shooting 50, 50, 50. No, 50, 50, 90 in the last 25 games. His efficiency has been off the chart. The only reason you see Kawhi Leonard not score more points is because he just decided that he doesn't want to be selfish and he wants to share the wealth. But with these type of with, with these type of numbers and you're winning these type of games, Kawhi Leonard is saying to himself, why would I need to score more when I'm winning more and I, and I can do it in an efficient rate? Why do I need to go out there and just try to score useless points? So he's like, I'm just going to stay within myself. Now let's look at James Harden, a person that I was extremely critical of at the beginning of the trade. And I want to say I've been 100% wrong about James Harden, especially since Russell Westbrook went to the bench. I have no complaints about James Harden whatsoever. James Harden in, in that 25, 25 game stretch is assisting the ball. Get this 9.9 .9 assists per game. And his turnovers per game are only 2.8. Only 2.8 and still getting you basically 10 uh, 10 assists per game while getting 1.1 blocks per game while getting you a steal per game while shooting 46% from the field while shooting 42% from the three and still shooting 89% from the free throw line. And if we look at Paul George, Paul George, let me see Paul George's stats over that per period. Paul George as well is scoring 23.4 points per game on what 48.6% shooting. On 45% shooting from three, 89% shooting from the free throw line, while at the same time getting you 3.1 assists and 5.2 rebounds. Listen, uh, this Clipper team uh, is one of the best teams in the NBA right now. Another team I think worth paying attention to is the Phoenix Suns. The Phoenix Suns have also 
been finding their mojo lately. And I think that these are going to be amongst the best teams going into the going into uh, the second half of the season. If I look at let me just quickly pull up the NBA standings. If I look at the NBA standings right now, I believe that the Clippers are the number three seed uh, in the Western Conference. Yes. Right now, as we currently speak. The Clippers are the number three seed in the Western Conference. They won eight out of the last 10. They won four in a row and they're only two games behind the Oklahoma City Thunder for the number one spot in the Western Conference. So to me, listen, they have been absolutely dominant. They've been beating, beating the hell out of teams. And I'm sure their point differential uh, over that period must be around four to five points per game. It's been it's been absolutely a master class. And um, I'm one of the few I'm one of the people out there that is quite surprised at just how well this team is playing. And to me, um, this is total dominance. There's no other way to say it.